Okay, so um, today we'll be talking about um, rendering out deep. So basically the deep EXR in, in Maya. So how to use them, um, how to set it up, and how to efficiently use them in, in Nuke. Okay, so first of all, what's deep? Okay, so deep basically it's it's like your um it's like your EXR that, that contains your RGB, the colors. And then um for example EXR will have your alpha as well, like your PNG or TIFF. Um but deep will have the additional um information of that per pixel. What it means it's um every pixel with the color, it will have the data store of the depth information from the camera so in space where are these pixels actually located so what it does is it actually gives you all this information later on and you can and if you are rendering multiple passes in your scene for example like this scene like that um you technically don't need to hold out your character renders like for example if you look at my character now it's holding out with the, the environment you technically don't need that to happen and um you can layer them correctly in Nuke with the deep information, right? So, okay. So I I will just go ahead and proceed to to show you guys what what it means. Okay. So, um, of course I will show you um without deep and with deep. What's the difference? Okay. So without deep, you'll be rendering out your set and your character with the whole lot like that. So in Nuke, let me just pull in a set of all renders. <coughs> Okay, so my set and my bot. Okay, so these are the the regular traditional technique that you A over B your character like that, and your character being with the holdout of your environment, and then the final image looks like that, right? This is all right. Um, but um, now we are going with a new technique. So what it does is um, the difference is we don't need to use this AI mat um anymore. So what we can do is we can go into the <coughs> I know and then we can just use primary visibility. So we can right click, create um attribute override and we can just turn off the come on, is it? Here. Okay, we can just turn off the visibility of the set. Okay, refresh it. Okay, and then we'll do a render. Okay, so you'll see that we actually get the full coverage of the characters um even even though the hands is behind the the set okay so now if i were to do a render and i will just bring in the render to nuke okay um so i already pre-render a, a set of renders so um, i can just show you guys faster so we don't need to sit there and wait for the renders okay so these are with the primary visibility um turn off instead of using matte but um, if I were to do it like that <coughs> you will see that I'm getting the character being overlaid onto the, the set which is not what I wanted right so what we need now is we can render out the deep basically we want to feed in the, the deep information into this EXR that we rendered and so it can hold up uh, correctly Okay, so how to render deep? Very simple. Um, like what you normally do uh, in your render settings, you render out EXRs. Okay, and now you just need to change the format to deep EXR. Okay, change the format. Okay, and let me just quickly do it. Okay, then you'll get a bunch of um, settings. So in, in, in cases where you want optimizations or technically inside this deep pass that you're going to render, you don't need lights. You only need the geometry because it only needs to calculate. You only want the information of the depth, so you don't need the light source. So technically, if you want to optimize this render, you can prune away your lights, um, do some optimizations, and you don't. For example, you are rendering your character, you don't even need your environment to be in the past. Okay, so you can do all sorts of um, optimizations, and then you just render it out accordingly. So. Um, what I mean by that is you will go to so you set up your your EX, the format to deep EXR. Just make sure you are rendering what you want, like single frame for now, um, full HD render cam. Then you go to render render sequence. Okay, you want to choose a a, a separate folder to render to. So for now, I'm rendering into 
one of my demo folders with um, <coughs> the the deep renders so um, so you can click onto here and you can click render and close so once it's done i will have my renders in in the folders so it will looks according it will looks like what we we supposed to have so um so these are actually the the deep renders okay you can see that it actually has the full character okay so now um the rendering is the simple part so now how we use that in nuke okay so this is the traditional method this is the primary visibility method which didn't work yet and how we make this work is we'll import in the deep renders that we just did okay so a quick way to import in you can click and drag and you can see that the node is different from your regular read okay if if it detects it's a, a deep uh, exr it will bring in in a in a different node so if you don't have if you don't know this you can just use deep read okay it's the same thing and then you can just um, choose the exr let me just quickly pop the folders here okay and yep it'll be the same thing okay so i will just click and drag the set in as well okay so now these are the dips so basically the the depth uh, information that we wanted and let's just see okay so this is the character and this is the environment okay so how do we map the information back onto our exr is we will use this node called deep recolor okay so you'll see this node will have color and depth okay so you can just wire the color to your regular exr okay your depth to the deep renders okay that way okay and you do not use the regular merge anymore so i can just delete that okay let me just do it for the character as well so deep recolor okay and color depth okay so um another thing if you want to double check your deep to make sure it's working what you can do is you can use deep to points okay and then you can wire the deep into this deep to points and you can see in 3d space if i zoom in i actually can see my character in the viewport oh, yeah. let me just frame it. right of course whatever that is behind the camera or behind the character you you don't get to see them but um with this deep you actually can see where are them in 3d space and for example if you need to place in cuts for elements like um like 2d smoke 2d explosion you can place them exactly where you want them to be right that will be easier to for you to do all those placement okay okay so that's how you can check your your dips to make sure they are rendered correctly okay let me just double check my set as well so you see yep it's there cool okay so how do we merge this set with our character together and with the holdout properly so we will just use this thing called deep merge okay okay so with deep right a and b channel doesn't matter anymore because they are they are hold out based on the depth and not whichever it's a will be on top of b right so that doesn't apply anymore so the a or b channel doesn't matter anymore okay so say i write them like that and if i view from the deep merge you can see that it holds up my character perfectly yep so that's the the beauty of deep so you do not need to purposely hold out your character with the harsh cutout and then what what it does it all this um, additional information um, can help you uh, in cases like um, sometimes with all the ho all the mats hold up you get edge issues that means after you comb them together you do a bunch of grids and defocus you get some edge issue because technically there's no information after here right with all this uh, you still preserve all the information that you need and for example of course i'm not um, encouraging you guys to do it but for example if you need to do things like um, deep transform so for example i want to move my um, say my character to the to the right a little bit i can translate him a few pixels to the right 
there I still preserve the information there. So of course these are is these are the cheating stuff that um, technically you guys shouldn't be doing. But uh, for example, if you need to fix a few frame of intersection, which is one or two pixels, this is totally um, legit that you can you can shift you can even shift him out like so much because you got all the information there. But one thing to note that is the your shadow will start to not line up. So all these are usage that you you can do um, to help fix very uh, how I say a very minor problem like um, some intersection that you spot maybe you no know, his leg is going through the ground. I just want to push him up uh, one pixel or two pixel that kind of thing. So so it doesn't look like he's going through the ground. That kind of stuff it's it's okay. But if you are saying that you want to reposition your character, that I would suggest you guys go back to Maya itself. And shift it from there. Okay, so so these are how you can work with dips, and then of course again we can double check the um, with all the both the dip combine how it looks in the in the yep there you go you get your character and your your environment. Um, so this piece is the foreground piece that we saw that's holding out your your character previously, then. Yeah, you got all your 3D information um, here. Then what you can do with it is you can add a Z defocus. Uh, okay, wire to okay. So one thing to note: so if you are compositing it using a your deep route, what you need to do is you need to convert this deep um, image back into a regular image. So what we do is we use a deep to image. Okay, so that. We'll convert it back to our regular image and then from there we can do our necessary for example like grids and and um, whatever color correction you need so if you want to put your grids to here it shouldn't work yeah it should you can't connect because that is not our regular image okay and then um, what I want to show is you want to do Z defocus so basically defocus defocusing based on depth right so if I use Z defocus, <clears throat> so um, be careful when you're using this node, it makes your scene um, slower. It's more expensive to render, um, but uh, always just enable it when you need it, when you need to see it. So if not, just disable it um, when you're working. If not, it will take super long to not, it shouldn't take super long, but it, it will make your scene um, heavy. Okay, just wait for a while. What's happening? Uh, let me just double check my machine. Nothing is. No, nope, nothing is running. Okay, let's give you a, a moment. Okay, so just take this as a, a re recap. So we use a deep recolor to map. The, the depth information into our RGBA so color depth okay then do the same thing deep recolor color depth okay then we use a deep merge this this Okay, then of course we need to convert this to a regular image, so deep to image here. Okay, and then we want to do a Z defocus, so we want to defocus based on depth, right? So what we do is we add the Z defocus. Okay, view from here. Hopefully it doesn't lag up. If not, I think I probably need to restart my machine. I think something might be wrong with my machine. Yep. Okay. So there you go. So you see that this focal point, it's, I need to shift it to where I want my focus to be. So now everything is blurry. So if I shift this to, for example, the eyes of my character, so it will focus this area and then defocus accordingly. So you see that my foreground is a touch defocus now. So it's it based on depth, and then of course you can exaggerate all this by increasing the size, um, say fifteen, then increase the maximum, say twenty. See, then you can exaggerate 
those those look and the the focus is just on the eyes but of course you get artifacts um a little bit here and there depending on how how far you push yep so that's uh of course i think this looks too much now let me just change cool yeah pretty good okay so um in cases where you are you're doing your the regular you know you split out your likes and you you plusing them it, it's the same workflow so you can do the same thing so you can just um shuffle out my different likes so environment and v then um my kick like and my rim like okay so rename it kick okay same thing we plus them back then plus them back Okay, just double check. Yep, looks as per normal. So for example, if I want to tweak the rim to a, a blue rim, right? Cool rim, for example. Okay, and maybe I want to expose down my environment like exposure. Change this to stops. <clears throat> so say I want to expose down half a stop. Okay, then maybe this kick light, let me see. Yeah, I want to change it to a warm color. <clears throat> so, okay, we exaggerate the, the mood of the shot. Okay, not too bad. Maybe the exposure of the rim can go a touch brighter. Okay, I mean, all these are just pure example that you, what you guys can do. And then what you can do is basically you map this information with the dip instead of your regular, the, the default beauty exa so now if you do that you get maps with the depth information much back with your um, set it should work accordingly then you can defocus after that yep looks a bit down huh with some oh the recolor let me just double check the alpha okay so the alpha now is three so i think the depth doesn't like this style of um, weird um I mean back alpha so I can copy my alpha back from my regular my original render okay so now if I check the value is one okay so if I were to look at the recolor now you see um, it doesn't go dimmer right then after that I map back with my environment with the defocus and of course, on top of that, you can do all sorts of your your, your comb, comb grading. You want to grade your, of course, let's not do gamma up, gamma down. Everything still works up as per normal. So the, the only thing is um, you want to feed your depth information into the EXR that you, you are doing. Use uh, the deep merge operation to merge your EXR, your different renders together. Remember to convert them back to image and then everything else is as per your regular comp. Okay. Yep, I think that's it for today's um, session about deep compositing and how you get deep renders from Maya and use them like how we're doing. Cool. So um, if there's any question, feel free to put in the comment section and um, do like and share or subscribe to the channel if you have not. Thank you very much.